Don't answer that phone. But Hugh, it's ringing. I know it's ringing. I know that ring. It's a special ring. A ring known only to me. Now don't answer that ring, Phoebe. Hugh, is there something you haven't told me about yourself? I'm afraid so, Phoebe. For a start, my name isn't Hugh. Not Hugh? Then who... You remember I told her I was a lonely orphan from Berwick and Tweed whose only relative was tragically killed when some vandals put skateboards under a heifer? Yes. That was I. My family weren't by the weeds from the Cheviot Valley. They were by the ways from the Gyro Valley. I'm talking the governed dust bowl. Phoebe, I'm scum! <gasps> Shh, the neighbours! But why didn't you tell me this before? How could I when I was so ashamed of my own family? That's a terrible thing to say. You think so? Here's their picture. Maybe they'll look better once they've evolved. The ghastly Phoebe, but they're all I've got. That's whenever I hear that phone ringing. I know that one of them needs me and I'm duty bound to help. I see, but tell me, if your name isn't Hugh... It is Hugh. I don't understand. You said... Yes, well, I don't understand either, Phoebe. God knows. But for some idiotic reason, when you're given the name Hugh up there, they don't call you Hugh. You get called... Shug! Shug! Will you pick up the phone? Oh. Oh, listen, Nesbitt. I've got one to your 16 chances of non-payments of fines. Oh, you bloody huckle. Open up! Open up! <laughs> Come on. Listen. Get that. Hey, get that bloody bandage changed. You're not giving me a shot up in there. I change my headgear for no man. No man. London can take me as a pinesman, have you? Aye, if the busies don't find you first. So oh, come on. The ma. No. It's that later, isn't it? Ah, oh, that bitch! Never even had the guts to tell me to my face! <laughs> Can you blame her? Who would want to watch a wimp squealing? <laughs> Don't get upset. It was only a holiday romance. It was not a holiday romance! It was a work romance! Three months when I used ski, scrubbing out pensioners' patios. We were bonded in sud, so we were. I even keep one of her sponges under my pillow. <laughs> bonded? Is that one of our London words? Listen, you. Listen, Angie taught me the meaning of a lot of words. Like excitement and freedom. <laughs> dumped? I, I wasn't dumped. I wasn't dumped. See, see, she had to go back in, didn't she? I mean, uh, she's got a place at uni, right? Can't you believe? I'll never see her again. Oh, don't get upset. Try reading between the lines. What does the letter say? Well, all right, eh? There is no hope. Don't try reading between the lines. It's best we should part this way. Regards, Angie. Well, what do you think, then? Well, at least she didn't give you just the one regard, you know? At least she gave you a few. Oh, no. <laughs> Where's your bloody feather? Who'd make your ass to you lot? Where's yours? Yes, <laughs> yeah. Have you seen Dean this? It's a warrant for his arrest. Cheers! I'll put it with the rest. Should that to me. <laughs> Cheerio, Mary doll! I'll give you a ring when I get to London. Boys! He's round the back, he's going to London! <laughs> I mean, Aberdeen, Mary! 
Aberdeen. Boys, he's going to London and he's kidding on his Aberdeen. <laughs> Why don't you shut your stupid yap? No, no. Ah! I'm getting too old for this malarkey, sure am. He's on a week England and he's never coming back ever. What? Oh my god! Well, don't just bloody well stand there, spin round in their rib tappers, and let's see a crush a surge at the door. Fun my bloody win! Go! <laughs> Holy bitch, ain't she? Go and get the used piece of iron see. Here, London. <laughs> Some place a London bar. Finest sight a Scotsman ever sees. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Jim. Yeah, I'm sorry to bother you in that, but I'm trying to get to Sidcup. No, the wife's cousin's going to grease a billet there and that, so I'm, uh, I'm wanting to know how to get there and that. No. What? Sidcup. I'm trying to get to Shidcock. I'm sorry, I can't understand what you're saying. Well, you can't understand my thing. Was that the fact? Well, answer me this, boy. Do you watch the television? Eh? Do you watch Neighbours? Neighbours, yes. Do you understand that? Of course. Ah, well, that's a funny thing, isn't it? That's a funny thing. Because I will tell you, that is Australian, by the way. That comes from halfway around the other side of the world, you know. And I just come for five minutes up the road in Glasgow. So if you can understand that, you can understand me. So in future, clean your bloody ears out. What? Big dumb palm stick. Hugh, if you must stand at the window, try to look angst-ridden. At least let the neighbours think our relationship has a dynamic. I am angst-ridden. God knows what's going to come staggering down that street. Oh, don't be so intolerant. <laughs> After all, Glasgow's the city of culture now. Some of it must have rubbed off on the, the tribes people. Yes, I suppose so. Uh, it's just that I've worked so hard to squeeze the Scottishness out of my system. In fact, only last week the club greenkeeper paid me the ultimate compliment. What was that? He said he thought I was a Medway man. One day, Hugh, you will be. <laughs> hey, John. Come on, you blue tap! <laughs> what, what, what exactly do you mean by you don't drink? Well, I mean, I used to drink. In the old days, I'd go my bucket with the best of them, but I've given it up. He's seen the misery it brings. Oh, I can certainly see he looks a hell of a lot happier teetotal by the way. Hello. Now listen, Rab. I don't mean to be nosy, but you're not doing here because you're not any kind of bother with a police, are you? Oh, no, no, definitely not. No, no. I'm just doing here doing a wee bit of sightseeing, you know. Sightseeing? I thought Mary said it was a business trip. Aye, I, well, that's right, but you see, I'm, I'm like, um, I'm in the sightseeing business, you see. <laughs> Mary? Oh, that Mary. What's wrong? Oh, Phoebe, Phoebe, it's my wind. I'm pure lying, so I'm. He's shot the crown, I'm up to high door. God, <laughs> no, Ah, well, in actual fact, I'm a kind of on-site sightseer, you know. I go to the sites and I see if there's any sites worth seeing on the sites. And if there's any good sites on the sites, I see the overseer about the sites I have seen on the site. See? 
I see. And I'll tell you something else, by the way. Oh, what's that? I haven't half seen some sights. <laughs> Rob, Rob, it's for you. It's Mary. I think there's something wrong. Mary? How was she, ma? I don't know. I can't understand what she's saying. What? Huh? I said I can't understand what she's saying. Oh, it's no use, doll. I can't understand what you're saying. <laughs> She'll get a damn sight sicker of this before I will, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, Mary, what's the matter, doll? Run away, where did you run away? Oh, London, no, that's... It's no bother, then, don't worry about it. London's just doing the road with Sid Cup. Aye, I'll, I'll nick in there later and I'll get him. <laughs> Hurry, oh. Okay, okay then, Mary. All the best, doll. You know... Woman, eh? <laughs> She's in some state because gas just ran away, you know. I'm not surprised, Rob. After all, London's one of the biggest cities in the world. He could be anywhere. Well, Phoebe's right, Graham. There are more people in Greater London than there are in the whole of Scotland. <laughs> I mean, for goodness sake, it's quality that counts, not quantity. <laughs> well, there's only one thing, for. You'll have to go to the police. The police? I mean, for goodness sake, it's not at all. Oh, no. No, no, we don't want to be bothering them. They've got, they've got enough today with you looking after the likes of me, you know. No, my figure's elasticus. <laughs> oh, if he's anything like his father, all they'll have to do is follow their noses. I was just passing. My name's Gash Nesbitt. I'm a friend of Angie's. Angela? My Angela knows you. Oh, aye. We work together in Glasgow, like, no? Oh. Well, she isn't here. She's at Birmingham University. Oh, I see. Well, well I'll try there then, eh? Birmingham, Alabama. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Ah, skip it. <laughs> just crack your face and make your arse jealous, would you? <laughs> Boys. Get that, didn't you? Cheers, Jamesy. Hey, no offence in that, but I hope this isn't a South African. Certainly not. I think it's up to us developed nations to set an example. To help the world's oppressed, no? You know, when you get right, don't you? We've maybe not got much, but at least we've got one another, eh? Friendship, big man. I'll drink to that. Hey, let's not forget absent friends. Absent friends. <laughs> Christ, you're taking it hard, didn't you, James? I'll tell you something. See, when I left, a part of me died. Look, there's Mary. I wonder if she's missing a podger yet. <laughs> hey, no, I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, I mean physically speak. Right, I'm just saying, man, she's maybe a bit vulnerable, like, no, a wee bit insecure, you know. You are right there, Mary Hen. Aye. I was just saying in the police here that you must be feeling like a wee bit miserable, you know, where I've been, a wee, a wee tight and secure like. Aye, I'll tell you something else. What's that? I'm no half missing a podger. <laughs> Yes. And what do you want? I want you to fund my wain. Fund your wain? Yeah, my gosh, he's, he's run away now, no. Oh, I see. Well, uh, we better get some details down then, haven't we? Details? What kind of details? Well, we'll need to know his name for a start. I tell you, it's Gash, Gash. His full name. Oh, it's full name, uh, Gash, nah. Nin-nin. <laughs> 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 Hey, 
Hey, you know, it's two, 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 ends, two ends, two ends, two ends. It's uh, it's garlic, you know. Rob Roy in that. Gash, nun. And your home address, sir, Mr. Nunun. Address is him that's done, Your Honour. Yes, but I'm assuming your son still lives with you. He does still live with you, doesn't he? Certainly, he still lives with me. Of course, he still lives with me. But well, there's nothing in it. We're just good friends. <laughs> what are you trying to insinuate, by the way? I'm not trying to insinuate anything. I'm just trying to get some background. Background? Cool. First, it's details. Now it's background. Look, do you want us to help you or not? The next thing you'll be wanting to know the story of my life, I suppose. Hey? Well, I'll tell you the story of my life, boy. I am nothing, by the way. I am nothing. Yeah. Until there's another war, of course. Oh, I oh, that'll be different then. Then you'll all be creeping about my house like damn papa war. Yeah. Well, I will tell you this, boy. I will tell you this. You will be hearing from my solicitor just as soon as I get back for the Henley Regatta. <laughs> don't you talk to me. Don't you talk to me. Suit yourself. That's the thing about being a good guest. No one went to leave. Rob! Rob! Have you found them yet? I'm trying, Mary, I'm trying, but it's a bloody big place to London, you know. I'm coming! I'm coming! Listen, Mary Hennel, I'll have to go. I'll speak you later, doll. Oh, you uh, got any spare change? So I'll get the baby some food. Food? Yeah. Oh, for God's sake. Here. There's there ten, Bob. Uh, get, get a nice wee bag of chips or something. Eh, uh, <laughs> uh, hey, doll. Eh, uh, wait a minute. I know this is a wee bit of a long shot, but I don't suppose you've seen a wee Scots boy. Need nee job, sleeping rough, bomber jacket and train or something. Yeah, I have, as a matter of fact. You have? Yeah. yeah. I'll show you. Come on. You still look for business, Hen, eh? Come on, I'll show you a good time. <laughs> No bad, no bad. Yeah, the door was off its hinges, so I let myself in. No. Ah, I feel fine. No, like, hey, come here. Mm. Is your mammy in? Is my mammy in? In what, Uncle Jamesy? In the nude? <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen to you. <laughs> you scallywag. <laughs> What's with the floors, Uncle Jamesy? Is somebody dead? No, no. These isn't the floors. These is vegetables. I'm just going to make a pan of soup, you know. Mm. Where is your mammy, son? She's in the bedroom. She said you've to get right in. Huh? Aye. That's what she says, Uncle Jamesy. Straight up, that's what she says. She says, tell Uncle Jamesy he's to go right in. <laughs> and you go, go on, and you go. Oh. Well. <laughs> Mary, Mary darling, it's me, Snake Hips Cotter. Don't bother opening the door, I'll slither under the gap. <laughs> Hi, James, the lights are felt drawn in, eh? Right. There's only one thing for it. This never happened. Agreed? Agreed. Agreed. Okay. <laughs> 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 Is this us? Is this well? This is it. Are you sure he's here, eh? Wee Scotch boy, no job, bomber jacket cleaner. Yeah, sure, I'm sure. <laughs> Go on, take your pick from hundreds. <laughs> See ya. Are all these people sleeping rough? 
No, they're queuing for tickets at the National Theatre. <laughs> Come on, get your arse in gear and geezer huddled back to her billet. No, I will not get my arse in gear, Rabsy, Nesbit, or whatever you call yourself. I've had enough of you. If you want a lift, you'll ask me in a civilised manner. You will ask me in an English manner. What do you mean? What do you mean? You will say, Phoebe, I would be most awfully grateful if you would kindly oblige me with a lift home. Please. Go on! No! Grant! Yes, sir! your lift! Ye can stuff your lift, dear ya! I'd rather walk! I would rather bloody well walk! I will tell you this, lady! You'll no civilize me! I will be a lounge wizard! Or nobody! <laughs> Walked? What do you mean, walked? I mean, put one foot in front of the other, Hugh. It is the easiest way to do it. But he is a guest in our house. You do not abuse your house guests, Phoebe. It's not on. I mean, come take grips. Not on? Come take grips? Do I detect a hint of the vernacular here, Hugh? You detect man a bloody hint, lady. You detect the hell shall bang. A name mistake. Oh, it's all coming out now, isn't it? All the bile, accrued from a lifetime of guzzling baked beans in tenements. Oh, so the mittens are off now. Hitting beneath the Angora line. Well, let me tell you this, lady. Oh, tenements, is it? My mother went down on her bended knees and she cleaned stairs, stairs, so that I could get a decent education. That must have been a very convenient posture for you, Hugh. What do you mean? Made it easier for you to walk all over her. I see you, see you, yeah. <laughs> right, you wee twee bash it. You're playing. <laughs> ah, hey. Big, mad, mental, shock for it. <laughs> oh, it's not a straitjacket you need. It's a bib and rompers. Where are you going? Out to look after me and mines. Out to reclaim my birthright. Gosh! Gosh! Oh, where the hell are you, son? What a bloody place this London, by the way. Hey, what a carry on. Look at the place. Look at the state of that airs, by the way. See it? The Big Ben. Look at it. Standing there. Giving it loudy with all the pump circumstance. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing I've been to know. See the big bean? It's got one hell of a size of a dong on it. Where are you? What is it all about, eh? I mean, what is it all about? Wings, you know? You bring them into the world, you beat them insensible, you try and give them a rotten childhood, so they've got an inferiority complex and something to build on in later life. And how do they repay you? What thanks do you get for all that sacrifice? I'll tell you, a slinger hook, that's what it is, up and away. I'll tell you though, she haven't said that. I give you a year's family credit just to see his plucky wee pajog again, so I would. Shug used his connections with the local filth. Connections? What kind of connections? Well, well like I always say, it's amazing what you can achieve with a Masonic handshake in an ingratiating manner. Oh, meet Sergeant Grover. Rab C. Nesbitt. God! I've been looking for you, Nesbitt. Come with me. 
He's oh. going nowhere except back up the road with us. Hello, oh, eh? What's like it? <laughs> he is wanted on 16 charges and on payments of fines, all committed in Glasgow. They may have been committed in Glasgow, but he was apprehended in Sidcup. This is my collar, and if you want him, you'll have to go through the appropriate channels. Sorry, I ended up now, boys, but I can see that this little discourse is going to take some time, so I'll maybe just slip away and you give a crack at <laughs> Shut it, you! Yep. Look, Jim, we're having time to argue, right? So, I'm taking him in on channel STPWO. Oh, and what pray is STPWO? No! Oh. <laughs> Stitch that, pal. We're off ski. <laughs> oh. What is going on here? I'm entitled to some kind of explanation. Fair enough, Chuck. Fair enough. But no offence intended here, but see the next time you want to lend a helm hand. Ah. Why don't you stick your foot in your mouth first? <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, hurry up, man. Get on with it. Quick, on your own time. <laughs> oh, 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 best. Thanks very much. Yeah. Uh. Uh, uh, well, I was about to ask if you'd all care for a nice cup of tea. Uh, Do stop groaning, uh, Hugh, or the neighbours will think you're drunk. Uh, mm. ah, uh, sorry, my dove. Uh, How'd you going in London? Oh, well, you, you know what they say, James. It's all right for a fracture. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't like my terminal there, you know what I mean? I'm no, safe. Yeah. Oh, I very miss you, Andrew. Oh, it's lovely to have you here, my again, son. Aye, and it's lovely to be back, Mammy. Oh. <laughs> hey, Cotter, he's a swig of that bowl. Tell you one thing about up here. At least we've got a sense of community. No brain cells, just a poxy sense of community. Aye, yeah, right. There's no place like Scotland, eh? Right. Right, boys, let's get louder with the national anthem, eh? Oh, flower of Scotland. Scotland. Die, 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 die. die. <laughs>